We have regular Sim and World updates in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and for many of us, well, we face those with an element of trepidation. In this short video, and for those on PC, we can reduce the risk of anything going awry by following these simple housekeeping steps prior to an update. And at the time of recording this video, well, World Update 13 is due out tomorrow, so now's the perfect time. Want to know more about Sim Update 13? Then check out this video link in the notes below. This is the SimHanger channel. My name's Mark. Thank you very much for watching, and let's get started. Step one is open up Microsoft Store, and our first check is make sure you're signed in to your Microsoft account by selecting your profile in the top right hand corner. OK, I'm signed in. All good here. If not, sign in. And now we can head over to the library. Select the icon in the bottom left hand and your library of Microsoft apps will load up. Make sure you're on the apps tab. In my case, all my apps have been updated. Yours may show some updates pending. Regardless of what it shows, select Get Updates in the top right hand corner and allow all the apps to update. For updates for Microsoft Flight Simulator, we're particularly interested in two apps the Xbox app and gaming services. Note the Xbox app is installed with Microsoft Flight Simulator, so it may be hidden, but not to worry, it'll update automatically. If you're doing this after the update has been released, but before you've installed it, note Microsoft Flight Simulator will update core files under the Games tab. This is not a problem, just let it complete before you start Microsoft Flight Simulator. Even a world update will include some core changes, modifications, and so on. This is normal. Note this will update system files only, not world update, and not the major elements of sim updates either. This will need to be done through Microsoft Flight Simulator. On your PC, navigate to where your community folder is located. Inside your community folder is where you will have various add-ons, liveries, and other programs downloaded from third parties. This could be airports, scenery, and so on. It's a Microsoft recommendation that you disable this folder when installing any Sim or World updates. And the easiest way to disable it is simply to rename it. You can rename it to anything you want. I normally call it community.old. The official folder contains the default aircraft from Microsoft Flight Simulator, plus anything you may have purchased or downloaded from the marketplace. Do not rename this or change it in any way, because it will crash your sim. Leave the official folder alone. When Microsoft Flight Simulator starts, it will automatically create another community folder. It does this by default, and of course it will be empty. After the update, and once you've tested everything's OK, and you're happy everything's working well, you can go ahead and delete the newly created community folder and rename the folder that we changed to community.old back to community. Once you've done that and you restart the sim, if you run into any problems, then the chances are there's something in your community folder that hasn't been updated or is not compatible with the recent update. And now it's a process of you going through to finding the offending item and removing it. And that's why after an update, we check it with the empty community folder first. And if we have subsequent problems, once we've put back our community folder, well, at least we know where the offending items located. Not all applications related to Microsoft Flight Simulator are located in the community folder. Just one example would be the FS Realistic add-on. And whilst not essential, once again it's recommended that you disable the auto start function just for the update process. And once completed satisfactory, of course, well then you can re-enable it. It's a situation of rather safe than sorry. Update your graphics driver to the latest version, NVIDIA or AMD. And the reason this is important is the SOBA are constantly making changes to things such as DLSS, FSR, and these changes may be based on fairly recent updates. So this step is recommended. It's always a good idea to make sure that your Windows operating system is fully updated, especially important if you don't update on a regular basis. I think enough said here. And of course, after any update, don't forget to go to your Content Manager, as there's more than likely to be a number of updates or new installs. This is particularly relevant for world updates. 
Well, that's it for this video. I hope, especially for those relatively new to Microsoft Flight Simulator, that this has been useful and informative. Stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you all again very soon. And bye for now.